Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Hisham Sabar here with yet another video course for the category Freelance on Binguru.com. I would like to thank everyone for their overwhelming response. Seriously, I'm honored. I get so excited when I see people talking about my videos, tagging me on their posts on Facebook, sending me inbox messages, and when I get to know that my videos have been able to make an impact and change someone's life where they are able to make a breakthrough in a freelance marketplace, getting a response from an employer, or perhaps winning a project. That makes me feel at the top of the world. I get so excited. Before I discuss today's video course, I would like to thank Kharido.pk, the link at the bottom of this video, because they have gifted me with all the custom t-shirts for all my videos. If you want to get your own branded t-shirt, customized t-shirt, you can go to kharido.pk and order your t-shirt. In the previous videos, we have covered a lot, starting from signing up with a freelance marketplace, creating your efficient profile, being original. We have talked about the videos. We have talked about the essence of uh, quality portfolio. We have talked about how to build on the freelance marketplaces where we have uh, uh, practically discussed the type A, type B setting and what could work best for you depending on your niche and your skill. Today, we are going to talk about client retention, which is very important because you win a project, but it is very important to ensure that you connect pace with your employer periodically and ask them about if they need new services. This is a massive sales tool because it is a client retention process which effectively adds to the value of your freelance marketplace profile. By the way, personally speaking, my client retention is 30%, which means that out of 100, 30 of my clients have come back to me. Why did they come back to me? Let's talk about this. Okay, so let's talk about this effective sales tool. What I usually do is whenever I finish a project as a business development executive or as a CEO of an organization, what I do is I keep touch base with my employers. A, I try to get their email addresses and then I have this newsletter where I send them periodic emails after a lapse of like a couple of months asking them how are they, how is the website going, or a graphic uh, design work which uh, probably uh, we have done for them, asking them if they need anything else. And the most important thing is staying on top of the mind of your employers by sending them emails and telling them what kind of new services you are offering or if there are any promotional services you are offering. For example, a couple of weeks back, there was an event in US and there was a national holiday in US and Canada. So we send a newsletter to our employers telling them that, uh, uh, to begin with, wishing them for the holiday and telling them that we got this promotional discount for the new services, be it a website, be it a graphic design. And if they want to hire us, they will get that discount. I got a lot of response, a good response for that newsletter. So getting back to your employers, sending them an email just to say hi and just to stay in touch, it can do wonders. And that's a very effective tool of retaining your client. Most employers actually get uh, uh, encouraged by a freelancer's approach to contact them, which tells them that you know, the freelancer is serious about their business and they know the business ethics. Freelancers make a fundamental mistake of not following up. It's not about winning a project and then letting go and forgetting about that employer. You are letting go or you know, uh, missing out on an opportunity of retaining a business which could potentially be X time bigger than your first project with that particular employer. What I would suggest you is, on a freelance marketplace, on the project message board, always try to get an email address of your employer because when you send them a newsletter, it encourages them that someone is absolutely serious about business. It's not advised to always talk about uh, work or the project. It doesn't harm in just saying hi and just to stay in touch with your employer because, of course, they know who you are. You have done a business for them in the past and uh, there's, a, there's a chance they can uh, get their another business back to you. Another important aspect 
of client retention has you are able to up a value a bit because your employer has previously tested you out with the first project they know how capable you are they know how successful you have completed their project so that for the second project you can actually up a price a bit telling them that the first project was a tester and now since you have added a value to their work you uh, can charge the price at will. It works wonders, trust me. When I said that 30% of my client uh, retention is because of the newsletters and my ability to stay in touch with my employers, I would also like to tell you that out of those 30%, there are many projects and many clients where I have upped the price because I have been able to give a value to the employers in their first project, which gives them an ability or a confidence to rehire me. I hope you find this advice interesting because many freelancers ignore this prospect of client retention. Reach out to your employers. Always send them a message saying hi. It would not harm you or your employer a bit. In fact, you will only win their confidence and most possibly they can come back to you with another project. Thank you.